In this video, let's take a look at the tooltip component from Material UI. Tooltips display informative text when users hover over, focus on, or tap an element. They are especially useful when working with icons. Let's understand the component's usage and props with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI tooltip.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. To add a tooltip, we need the tooltip component from Material UI. Let's import that. The tooltip also needs a child element. Let's use an icon. So import icon button. For the icon itself, import delete icon. Now for the JSX, we invoke the icon button component. icon button and delete icon. Next, we wrap the icon button component with the tooltip component. On the tooltip component, we add a prop called title and set it to delete. If we now include this component in app component, and take a look at the browser, we see the icon button. Hover over the button, and we see the tooltip being displayed. By default, the tooltip is positioned to the bottom of the element. We can change it using the placement prop. Let's add placement is equal to right, and if we head back to the browser, we see the tooltip is now to the right of the element. Back in VS Code, if we allow VS Code to suggest the prop values, you can see there are 12 placement values in total. I would suggest you pause the video and try each one of these 12 values. Now, if you hover over the button, you can see that the tooltip sort of floats near the icon button. If you want a more clear indication, you can add the arrow prop. So arrow, and if you now head to the browser, hover, and you can see the tooltip has an arrow which points to the child element. The final set of props you might find useful is the enter delay and leave delay props. Let's add enter delay is equal to 500 milliseconds and leave delay is equal to 200 milliseconds. If we head back to the browser, when I hover over the icon, you can see the tooltip appears after half a second. The tooltip also disappears after 200 milliseconds. This is useful when you have a table of elements that need a tooltip. If the user is moving the cursor around, you don't want the tooltip appearing every now and then. With an enter delay, it only appears when the user is in fact trying to hover over the element. So this is the basic usage of the tooltip component. In the next video, let's take a look at our last data display component, which is the table component. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.